The National Election Security Tax Force is made up of the Ghana Police Service, the Ghana Armed Forces, BNI, Fire Service, Customs Division of GRA, Prison Service, Ghana Immigration Service, EC and NCCE. Their main task is to plan and execute security strategies to ensure peaceful polls. Speaking at a press conference, Chairman of the Tax Force, the IGP James Opombuenu, said over 62,000 security personnel will be deployed on December 7, 2020 to ensure a peaceful process. Ladies and gentlemen, 62,794 security personnel from the Ghana Police Service, the Ghana Fire Service, the Ghana Prison Service, the Ghana Immigration Service, the Custom Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, and the Ghana Armed Forces are being deployed for the elections. All the personnel that I've mentioned will be in their regular uniforms, with the exception of officers from the Criminal Investigation Department and of the Police Service and the Bureau of National Investigations, who will remain invisible. James Opombueni revealed that over 6,000 flashpoints have been identified nationwide. He, however, gave assurances that the security apparatus will adequately police such areas to prevent anything untoward. We are approaching all polling stations as potential flashpoints. However, we have identified 6,178 flashpoints nationwide. The flashpoints were decided based on a number of factors, such as incidents recorded in previous elections, this year's voters registration exercise, and crime rates and other factors relating to those centers. As a result, our approach in these areas will be slightly different from other areas. COP Tebiri, Director General of Police Intelligence, also gave details on the number of electoral violent cases recorded and investigated during the voter registration exercise. 120 and the investigation, if you do the calculation, we have 48 that were sent to court, 29 settled, as I said. Then we have 10 of such cases where convictions um, have been. Uh, giving, and then two acquittals, and the want of prosecution where individuals don't show up is seven. So if you do the calculation, 204, 204 were recorded. The Director General of CID, COP Ken Yabua, said five persons have been arrested and prosecuted in connection with the recent Ododododio clashes. He also gave details of some arms that were impounded in Tema. Five persons have been arrested. They were taken to court, and so the case is still at court. Uh, the 436 pistols that were intercepted at Tema Port. Investigation is ongoing. Initially, six persons were arrested, but uh, as at now, we are holding on to one person. We have examined the weapons and they are gas pistols.